Animated has a plethora of guest characters, from Stryker to Retgar and Waspbane to the topic of today's video. This character is one that Derek J. White wants to appear in the show more than any other. Hello and welcome to Jinxed, where today we're taking a look at one of the most sought after animated figures, Deluxe Class Swindle. Swindle is a Wave 5 figure, one of the two ways that a local toy shop stocked before closing down. This was a figure that I received for Christmas 2009 and I played with it that much that I broke his hands and lost his guns, so I bought replacement parts this year. So behold, my Frankenstein Swindle, which does sound like something Swindle would actually do. This figure is beautiful and a true testament to Wyatt's unique art style, one that is now sadly lost to time. It has, a cost it has cartoonish proportions perfect for an intergalactic arms deer with Megatron as his number one customer. And that head sculpt is perfect, capturing the charismatic SUV of the SUV. His eyes have pupils that glow in any lighting, but that head is also helped with Fred Willard's voice that screams from the mouth of Swindle. He comes with an arsenal of features ready to sell to the highest bidder. First is his massive Megatron S scatter cannon that can change from purple to red if you have his missile, and if you can get the missile out. He has his personal storage dimension in his stomach from Decepticon Air, along with a live action video game Swindle S stomach gun. His final feature is his force field generators that he uses when fighting the SUV and Bumblebee. This figure is filled with features which an intergalactic arms dealer should. His articulation is, is very basic, um, I'm not gonna lie, this isn't the best articulated animated figure, but then again, you don't get animated figures for their articulation. So he does have a swivel at the neck. Um, and if you use the transformation joints, he also can have a little look down and also look up. But it's not the most natural look up. Um, he does have, I think they are mushroom peg, I don't know. Um, shoulder joints. Um, he also has very weirdly, like kind of indented shoulders. And ball joints there, you can go in and out on an indent. You just have a bicep swivel, um, 90 degree elbow bend, which is very high up, but that's just due to the nature of how his arms are uh, made. He does have thumb articulation and hand articulation due to the transformation. No waist, obviously, it's animated, you're not going to expect no waist. Um, unless you're animated Optimus Prime, you do have forward and back. Legs are on a ball joint can go that far with the legs as well you've got a thigh a swivel knee bend that i wouldn't want to push it any further because i'm scared that it will break because it's clear plastic um, and that's it for the articulation as i said it's not the best but then again you you really don't buy um animated figures for their articulation his transformation is quick and easy but it's all chunky and clunky and in the end, makes one of animated's most iconic vehicles. This Humvee is chunky and looks like it will crash through a bank. His wheels are pinned, so he also rolls really well. You can also plonk his cannon on the top to recreate the press the red button scene from the SUV episode. And even use his small Gatling gun in this mode too, if you're a bit odd and hate rolling. Overall, I know it says through every animated figure of you, this is one of my favourite animated figures. He has everything from all of his two episodes, but he does have clear plastic joints. I haven't had any problems with my copy, copies as well, and I bash this thing around like I was breaking out Fortress Maximus as a kid. This is a hard one to come by well for a decent price anyway, but if you can go back in time and find this in hides for £8, then definitely get one. Or spend £40 for collecting animated figures right and now. I have been jinxed, and this is my look at Transformers Animated Deluxe Class Swindle. Don't forget to check my book out, the link will be in the description. I will see you next when we take an. Oh, what? I will see you when we next take a look at another character from the franchise we all love.